So I'm about one week into this whole new vlog style where I create one banger vlog a week. I'm not liking it. It takes all of the fun out of vlogging. It makes me like overly have to script things. I think we're reverting back. Now there are a bunch of things that I probably should be doing, but my mom is shipping out yo yo's. I think the offset site is fully stocked right now. So today is dedicated in its entirety to yo yo practice. Now, yo yoing up until like this point has kind of been like a nice to have. That was up until I signed up for scales and now I'm actively competing again and it has made me rethink how I should be practicing. So today's video is gonna be about how I practice, but how to practice like a pro. Some of you got that reference. First things first, oh my God. All right, I've, I've broken the cardinal rule of yo yoing. Never, never wear a white shirt. For those of you who are wondering why, look at this. Can you see? Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see? No, no. All right. Now watch. Okay. See now. See how much easier it is to see the string. For those of you who are making fun of me for only ever wearing black shirts, it's because I'm a yo-yo player. All right. So dress the part. The next part I like to do. Ugh, I like to have some sort of like caffeinated beverage of some kind. I've since cut down on energy drinks as they're full of sugar and they make me fat. But these these little pre-workout things they have just as much caffeine not as many calories, they're still terrible for you, but they don't make you fat. Now that I'm amped up, I can't just smash into the routine immediately. I need to warm up. I'm just gonna go through the individual tricks once. Time to go through a few freestyle run-throughs. This is the stuff that really makes you sweat. The freestyle is what I like to call constructed, but not executable. Meaning I know the tricks, I ideally know what it would look like, but I don't have the muscle memory or skill to pull it off just yet. I want to refine my practice approach a little bit. So, okay, the tricks that are causing me the most trouble is this chopstick combo and this or a combo. Now the way I usually practice is I just do the trick over and over and over and over again for a timer. I don't care how many times I miss, that's how I do it. I'm changing the approach a little bit. I found that if I do the trick, right? Let's say I'm doing the trick, boom, boom, and I mess up here. I don't try to keep going. I know a lot of players are like, oh yeah, you know, just keep trying, keep going. Even if you mess up, keep going, keep going. I think what works for me is I just stop and I start over again. And I try to get like one perfect take. And if I hit that take, I'm like, yes, cool, try it again. Now the counter argument is that in a real competition, you're not gonna be able to redo it until you get that perfect take. But for me, I actually need to land the trick perfectly in order for that to kind of like go into my practice bank and create my muscle memory. Now when it comes to practice, I'm also gonna start off with this horizontal combo because this horizontal combo is last in my routine and everyone knows that the very first combo of your routine gets the most practice because that's where you replay the music. So I'm gonna start practicing the tricks in reverse chronological order. All of this is kind of weird, but this is the process that I'm kind of stitching together. kicking my ass. Well, I'm not sure if it's gonna be ready. I think the recording deadline is in three days. Maybe two. I'm not sure. That's probably about two, three hours. Taking a short break, and then we're gonna get back into it. Bring one box down, one bag okay. down. you finished with one bag? Mm -hmm. All right. Just dropped off the package. We're gonna be heading 
back to the house. I'm gonna do a little bit more there, and then we're gonna resume. I'm gonna gonna give these back. Mom, here, here are your AirPods. There you go. You dare to touch it again. All right, we are back. We are back. Just because this is fresh string. Literally, literally just grinding this freaking chopsticks combo. Let's go. Not quite for this contest. Ugh. So today was all about practicing more efficiently. And it's interesting. You know, you can have all these little hacks and practice methods that work for you. But I think the main thing that makes you do anything efficiently is you have some sort of goal, some sort of purpose, some sort of finish line. For the last year and a half, I found it really difficult to practice because realistically, there was no real reason to. There was no immediate consequence, whether I did or whether I didn't. And kind of scrambling at the last second to prepare for this contest has really reminded me a lot of things about yo-yoing. It's reminded me that you gotta hit the tricks, sometimes you gotta take things out, you gotta refine, refine, refine. Execution, landing it is all that matters. Doesn't matter what you can kinda do on a good day. All that matters is what you can land on the day. And I think there's a purity to that, you know? The, the timeline forces you to kind of stop working on it and kind of calcify it into a final thing. So I would implore all of you guys, as contests open back up, attend a yo-yo contest because there is nothing that increases your practice efficiency more than actually competing. That's probably it. That's, that's all I got for today's vlog. All right.